five, four, three, two. Crank it, Jerry. Welcome to Into the Wild, the official podcast of the Washington Wild Pigs. What do you hear? What do you say? It's the best sports podcast in the world. Wait, is that true? If you're committed enough, you can make any story. I once convinced a woman that I was Kevin Costner, and it worked because I believed it. Now, here's your host, Kyle Dawson. Did you get the popcorn? Back on the Wild Things Baseball Network for our post-game show. The final tonight, Gateway 2 and Washington nothing. There is not much to highlight tonight, but we'll go through the scoring, tell you about the totals, and we'll try to highlight some stuff from Washington's loss tonight that drops them to 9-4. and four. Gateway gets a win to advance to 8-6. and six. Listen, you can't win them all. The win streak was going to end at some point. You get another chance at a series victory tomorrow in the rubber game and the finale of the six-game homestand. Tell you about that in a bit. Let's start with the scoring. It all happened in the top of the third inning, a leadoff single by Jose Alvarez. He would be put out at second base on a fielder's choice off the bat of Abdiel Diaz. That would leave it a runner at first base with one out. Andrew Moore, it's the next hitter, the right fielder, saw Diaz take off on the pitch and served a fly ball out to deep right center field that would get down behind Caleb McNeely for an RBI triple. Moritz made it one nothing gateway. The next hitter would score Moritz. Gabe Holt, a flare to center field in no man's land, would bring home Moritz. An RBI single made it 2-0. That's all the scoring in the contest today. For the Gateway Grizzlies, it's two runs on 10 hits, no errors. And for the Grizzlies, Gateway left 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9 aboard. For the Washington Wild Things, it's no runs on two hits, one error. And Washington left 8 on base tonight. The winning pitcher is Teague Conrad. He goes to 1-0. That is his first professional win. The loser is Zach Kirby. He falls to 1-1. And And the save to Lucas Weinbergs. That is his fourth. Runner takes off. Pitch a strike. Ricardo's throw is in time. A strike him out, throw him out, double play. 2-1 wind by Kirby. Delivery home to Brannon is lined toward right field and hit pretty well. Chaco on the dive and comes up with it. My ball club defends it better than your ball club. Robert Chaco with a sensational effort out and right to make the play. And the inning comes to a close. One ball, two strike pitch is a wave and a miss. And Kirby gets his fourth strike out. Pitch on the way to Brandon. Roller toward the second baseman, Berkey. Too short for one. Clowers' return is in time. Double play. And one pitch, resume, and we've got a twin killing that makes it a scoreless inning for Justin Goose and Brown. No. The announced attendance tonight at Wild Things Park that saw this, 2,123 for the Washington Wild Things and the Gateway Grizzlies. We got underway tonight at 7.06, and with an eight-minute rain delay, game time was somewhere in the range of about two hours and 40 minutes tonight here in Washington. The finale of the three-game series is tomorrow at 5.35 p.m. Our airtime is approximately 5.05, with the Tom Vaith Show as part of our pregame coverage as the Wild Things and Grizzlies round out their series the starter for Gateway has not been announced yet. For Washington, it will be Jordan D. Valerio, who spun seven innings of two-run ball on Tuesday in his first start of the homestand, picking up his second consecutive win. D. Valerio 2-0 with a 4-5-0 earned run average for Washington on the season, and the Wild Things will look to start a new win streak tomorrow. Gateway goes to 8-6. and six. Washington falls to 9-4. and four. For all of us at the Washington Wild Things, we thank you for tuning in. So what's just one of those nights for Washington offensively that look to bounce back in a rubber game against Gateway tomorrow evening. It is a Blueprints Kids Eat Free Sunday tomorrow and also the celebration of Wild Things 22nd birthday. The beloved mascot of the Wild Things will have all his buddies here at Wild Things Park. On Mascot of Palooza, the first 250 kids receive a Wild Thing and Smiley activity book presented by Eaton Park. 
on Mascotapalooza at the ballpark. Tickets are available at WashingtonWildThings.com at the ticket return box office or by calling 866-456-WILD. That's 866-456-WILD. We'll catch you tomorrow on the Wild Things Baseball Network 30 minutes before first pitch. Until then, we say so long and thanks for tuning in. This has been another presentation of Frontier League and Washington Wild Things Baseball on the Wild Things Baseball Network.